sorry. I was looking for Etua. No, do not go. Speak with me for a moment. I let my fear and anger speak for me before, and I dishonored your loss. Even though she is with Ewa, my beloved mate Asahe reminds me of everything that was taken from us. Her wisdom and kindness remain here, and in Etua. I see you and Etua walking the same path, and yet it takes her further away from me. She is like her mother, impetuous and headstrong. She is the fearless Navi I want to be one day. I held her, Asahi, as she died in my arms. She was fearless too. Where you see a risk worth taking, I see certain war and devastation. My people have lost so much already. But if you don't fight, you could lose everything. For a moment, we saw the peaceful spirit of the Sarindu in you. But it seems they truly did die. I should find Etua. Are Nefika's silks no good now? Not to violence and not to vanity. since your people visited. My hunts are for me, not the sky people. What do you suppose we will do once the sky people leave? Just live our lives, I suppose. Naive. She grieves her mother. Someone is near. Not one of the sky people. A son, then? He cannot really believe this is my fault. Have you ever stopped to think that maybe he is right? Hmm. Our own Tsar and two hero returns. Your ancestors will be proud. The hunters told me of Zome's needless death. Sky people care nothing for life. For beauty. And they are the problem with the King Law. I know it. What now? When your mother had that look, trouble followed. If you connect to the Queen, she will show you what pains her. I tried, but could not understand what I saw. She might reject me. I'm more Sky people than Navi. You are both. That is your strength, and why it must be you. Your father might banish us all for this. I know he is afraid for us, Nafika. But if we do not try, he will not have anything to protect. Glade of Light is perfect for a meeting away from prying eyes. Yes. I will escort the King Law Queen there. Unfurrow your brow, my Aundu. All will be well. A tiny sting, and when you awake, we will give you a reviving nectar, Nixie. A sting? It's nothing. But the Nectar Nixie will welcome you back. All who ask for sight from the King Lord Queen must gather nectar before the ritual. Take her. You are more Navi than you know. Now shoo. Katnat knows a war is madness.
Stir trouble and you will be left with no spoon. Oh, the foolish sky people and their preoccupations. The dear Sarentu, come to join me? I've been watching sky people from the shadows and deriving no small amount of amusement from their antics. They scamper to and from a cave near the bottom of wood sprite arches. I'm going to see what they are up to down there. Are you game? I can help. I've dealt with sky people before. That is the spirit. Meet you there. My hunts are for me, not the sky people. Is something there? Why can't I focus? Nothing like the sounds of the forest to soothe the spinning mind. Our health is our most precious asset. This place is worth remembering. people have been moving those dreadful what do you call it metal metal boxes out of this cave creeping looking nervous might be something useful or valuable to them it's worth a look I am sure they think their secrets are hidden from us by the poison mushrooms the simplicity of this plan is almost endearing to see the world through such childlike purity. Here, a simple mixture of blaze fruit and nectar will keep you safe from the mushroom's toxin. We can assume whatever it is they are moving, it does not belong to them. Me? Are you not curious to see for yourself? Curious, yes. But to surround myself with their strange metals? Absolutely not. 
I know such things do not trouble you. Commando. Weathered, old, instruments, weaving, every little thing. Luray was right. This doesn't belong to them. They need to be stopped.
didn't come. What was inside? You must show me. Instruments. Weaving. All sorts of not the artifacts. From different clans. They were hoarding these. Most likely to sell. Bleeding our home dry is not enough. They seek to mine our heritage as well. This instrument? I was taught to play by my Zeswa friends. We would practice together in the Glade of Light. Our childish mistakes and carefree laughter, all for Ewa to hear. Once these ordinary things are in the hands of those who hate us, they take on another meaning, do they not? Thank you. I am glad to know these will not end up with the Sky People. Perhaps Etuwa's reckless fighting has purpose after all. <sighs> that poor fool is not worthy of my time. Etua is young. She is naive. Nawuk is a rare Aranahe, all too keen to speak her mind, and quite loudly at that. We try and talk her down to no avail. Even the words of Vifilu, her daughter, are useless. Their last argument sent Vefilu tearing straight towards the end of Stoneblade Ridge, near those unnatural clouds Etua created by the reckless, Sky People. But she has good Please, I think a Sarantu's diplomacy is needed here. If you help Vifilu, you help all of us. Katna is right. Do not invite chaos.
Each day out in the forest is one more gift from Ewa. The s if you enjoy cooking, you might enjoy this ingredient from beyond the King Lord Forest. place another of their disruptive creations and neon wanted me to stay put was it like this when you arrived these sky people bodies here some my doing but others not no someone was here before us their flying machine is not here but we should find out what happened here first Maybe it's linked to... Hmm... That's not it. Don't think so. Hunter calls Ikran. RDA sees it, tries to kill it. Ikran, Hunter, both take off in a hurry. Maybe it's linked to... If anything could have brought down the Sky People's machine... Doesn't look it right. It would be an Ikran. An Aranahe Hunter, skilled. Spear sets off explosion, takes out a handful of RDA. They came here with purpose. They Maybe it's linked to... for what the sky people are doing here? RDA aircraft gets attacked midair, takes damage. Parts fall out of the sky. Something hits that tree. So we know it was not an accident. The sky people were forced down from the skies. Think we've covered everything. is Fubar, and we know you got your asses kicked by a blue. Nice. We got more guys inbound to help you secure that damn aircraft. Keep a close watch and try not to mess that up. I wish Neon could have seen this. To see when a hunter takes real action over grandstanding. They were serious about stopping the construction, it seems. Even when after that aircraft. The Sky People will not abandon this site so easily. I need to warn the others. Tell Neon, there will be more of them. The rest of the aircraft should be close by. I picked up a scent. You have dealt with the Sky People before, right? Then I do not need to wish you good luck. But good luck.
kind of warhead on that tree of theirs? They attack our construction site, they fucked up our machines, and no! Seriously, I'm tired of risking my life for an animal. There they are. Go or spear is fine, but do not rush. If you strike too soon, you will scare off the fish.
You there. Come. Quickly now. Sky people. Just along the river. They are like any unwelcome guest. They go where they wish, leave a huge mess and move on. This time, however, it was just one of them. Alone on a small island with a large fallen tree. That is strange, yes? Have we allowed them to become braver? A lone human? Are they still where you saw them? Oh, this human learned quickly. They were chased off. They ran away screaming, and I had a hearty chuckle at that. Nevertheless, I worry what enticed a human to that place. I cannot Hello? face Katna today. He carries such disdain in his gaze. Fallen log. Should be where Nawalk saw that lone human. Maybe it's linked to... Don't think so. Doesn't look right. Someone from the Resistance was here, not RDA. Good. I wonder if... Whoever was here, they kicked the tree, brought down the hive. Not smart. But what else? Someone ran, fast. So fast they dropped their tablet. Let's see. A resistance human flew here to work on something and kicked the tree. Frustrated, maybe? Tablet could have more. might know who owns this tablet.
Hey, if you're not busy... I'm not sure who to talk to about this. I don't know how... Ah, maybe I shouldn't say anything. It's okay. You can tell me, Jin. Okay. Thanks. It's Danny. She normally goes out with the others on their usual routes. But lately, she's been going off the beaten path. The others say she last went southeast all the way into the crater. And when she's back, she won't even look at me. Deflects whenever I ask her questions. Never a good time to talk. She's mad at you? <laughs> no. Yeah, I wish it were that simple. But I know her. No, this is something else. I, um... I think this is my fault. A while ago, I brought up a topic that, in all fairness, I knew she didn't like. I figured the timing was okay, and that she... Uh, you know what? It's... <laughs> it's not important. I can check up on her if you'd like. Listen. Danny's the toughest person I know. But this place is dangerous, as you know. I don't need to know where she's going or what she's doing. I just need to know she's okay. You seem more settled. Making the best of things. I want to help. Somehow. Mercer and Harding need to pay for what they've done. With the Resistance on our side, we have a real chance. And can make up for the past. How has it been almost 16 years? The humans like to say, better late than never. But it's still too late for Ahari. I didn't stand up to them then. No one expected you to. We were just children. That didn't stop your sister. She was braver. The resistance is the way to honor that. Even if it means working with the humans here? Maybe not all humans are the same. I'm not sure how to make it up to everyone. Did you add more decorations to your hair? As many as I can. Remember how Mercer hated them? He told me they were dirty. I didn't understand then. Dirty how? I cleaned them again and again each time he pulled them from my hair. But you kept putting them back in. My mother wore them like this once. This honors her. A Sarentu home needs Sarentu traditions. I'm not sure I know what home feels like yet. Neither do I. I can barely believe we slept for so many years. But Taylan is happy. Nor is trying to be. And are you... happy? I want to find more of our ancestors with Ewa. Someone must know the truth. Why they would leave us, if they did. All the things that Mercer said, we deserve to know. Alma thinks Mercer is planning something, and more RDA arrive every day. I will do what I can to help her find out why. His failure will make me happy. I wonder what kind of leader I will be. I have to find my own path now. We must prepare for what comes next. Your bow. I have to ask, what kind of wood is that? Is it Delta? I'm not sure. It must be. Very pliable, you know? But strong. Really an excellent wood to work with. I'm gonna use some for the outdoor space. Make it a little more not v friendly I think Nor would appreciate that. Priya mentioned most of your people refuse to use metal. I agree, honestly. Why use cold clinical steel when the warmth and life of wood is available? 
Cold and clinical sounds more like the RDA style. Huh, right? Let me tell you, building for them was no fun at all. But construction's my game. I actually had no idea what was going on out here till Danny told me. She was sick with it. And it's hard to get a reaction out of Danny, so I know it must have been bad. So you left the RDA because of her? Well, of course. She's my wife. We met on mission training, actually. Got married right before we left Earth. It's weird. It was only a few months ago, but with the trip, we've been married for years. People think she's cold, but that's crap. You just have to get to know her. Hey there. Thanks for coming. The animal you found with no kuru? They're called ferals. RDA captured them, removed their kuru. It was unbelievably cruel. Why would anyone do such an awful thing? To control them. Didn't work, of course, just made them suffer. Made them impossible to tame. And... I was a part of it. My greatest shame. Now they kill without reason. That's why I left the RDA. But I couldn't save them. We have to put a stop to it. Give them a merciful death. Yes. Do the right thing. In larger numbers, though. Wreck the ecosystem. Anka mentioned seeing some strange activity on one of her flights. Could be ferals. I will send you the coordinates. I am sorry it has come to this. You need a new look. as well look good out there. Is that... You still have Mercer's walkie-talkie? It doesn't work anymore. I just like having it, okay? Don't make a big deal out of it. I'm not. I'm... surprised. That's all. I... I know things are different now. And I have to be tough. It's just... It's how I used to... We don't have to get rid of everything they gave us. Mercer wanted Na'vi and humans to work together. Cooperation is what makes for successful ventures. Only together will we build a better Pandora. You remember? Mercer doesn't care about Pandora. Or us. Well, we're working with the humans here anyway. Still cooperating for Pandora. I should do something nice for Jin. Maybe new air filter parts. Whatever comes next, I will make sure we are ready. Hey, what do you got for me? A tablet I found, dropped by one of our people. Do you think you can fix it? Ouch. Wish I could say yes. But what this tablet needs is a prayer, not a scientist. You said it belongs to someone in the Resistance? Yeah. Human, based on the boot prints I found nearby. And female, judging from the audio recording I snagged from it. They made a point to record in privacy. Away from HQ. A human female. Well, that narrows it down. 
Good luck. I should check out those empty outposts. Great materials in there, I'd say. You've already seen all the pollution RDA is causing. How it affects the flora? I have. That's just... sickening. Indeed. And it's not just ill plants. Animals can't feed and live in polluted areas. Navi lose their foraging and hunting grounds. Everything on Pandora is connected. And damage done to one part affects the whole system. Resistance, too. It's critical we continue to learn which specimens of flora we can process to extract nutrients acceptable for humans. So you can't study plants that aren't healthy? Exactly. Right now, I have ongoing research on a plant called Flamingo Orchid, and I need clean samples of its fruit to keep the data fresh. I have coordinates to where they grow in abundance, but we don't have many hands at the field labs. Would you be so kind? You were right about Talon. I'm glad I listened. Any idea who might own that broken tablet? They went out to record alone, so someone bold and proud, maybe too proud for their own good if they value privacy over personal safety. Anka, have you been out in the rainforest recently? Well, yeah. I'm a pilot. I go out all the time. Gotta keep an eye on those RDA patrols, you know? Any chance you dropped a piece of gear or tech the last time you went out? What? No way. The only way I could do that is if I'm literally dropping a tablet from the cockpit or something. Here is what I have. We must be safe. Hey, Priya. Have you been out in the rainforest recently? I wish. I have way too much work here. So, no chance you might have dropped something out there? <laughs> Only way that'd happen is if I knocked something off my desk and it slid all the way out through the entrance to HQ. Why did you say tablet when I mentioned missing gear? I didn't say tablet. Just the first thing that popped in my head. I don't know. Were you thinking of this tablet? Where in the hell did you get that? An Arana had gatherer pointed me to where you dropped it. What... What did you find on it? 
I recovered some audio. Was that you? Shit. We do not talk about this here. Follow me. I'm not sure how to make it up to everyone. If I even can. It's embarrassing. I went to that spot specifically so no one would have to be subjected to my nonsense. How much did you hear, anyway? All of it? I won't tell anyone. Oh, all of it. That's great. I know the wasps didn't take too kindly to my poem. Ugh, why did I go to that spot in the first place? Real rookie business. What was I thinking? I guess you were thinking about love. I'm not exactly the best when it comes to talking about these feelings or whatever. Just really wanted a place away from all the noise to digest all this. You know the saying, love makes dumbass people do dumbass things, right? A good nothing that all did. Even without the RDA and these fun, tense times we live in, do you know how hard it is to try to be romantic here? I can't pick flowers without half of them trying to kill me. Maybe I can help. No, look, I appreciate the gesture and all, but let's not. I tried to get all mushy and ended up kicking the hornet's nest. Or a literal wasp's nest. Hive. Same thing. So forget it. I'll move on. I'm good at this sort of thing. I wonder if other clients heard about what happened to Mercer. Danny came out here alone. No traces of anyone else. Where did she go next? Traveling light. Had rations. A faint scent. But it's there. How much did Jin tell you, anyway? He only mentioned a topic that he shouldn't have brought up. Yeah. That. Timing couldn't be more off. Talking again about starting a family. With your return, Jin saw hope. But I saw the unspeakable evil they've done to you. And what they're gonna do to all of us. So... Is that why you're out here? Could say that. I cover a lot of ground in a day. Finding vantage points, identifying potential kill boxes, trying to make us safe, if that's possible. Many of our people can't imagine how bad things will get. I can. Ask the trapped wildlife I came across. Couldn't free it without harming it. Where do you find them? Northwest of HQ. I wish there was more I could do. Leave it to me. not a beauty. Spinning and cooking are my favorite things. Try cooking at least.
Danny? The wildlife is safe now. Good. I'm glad you bumped into me. Our little chat reminds me... Been a while since I talked to anyone about this. About anything on my mind, really. I'm back at HQ, near the entrance. Can we... talk more? I'll meet you there. Slasher collection this side of ACA. You're back. For now? Or do I have a choice? I'm trying to keep us safe trying to keep my husband safe. Maybe you should talk to him. Tell him what's on your mind. He seems so in love with you. Jin's got so much love in him, it'd be selfish for me to hoard it all to myself. Only makes sense he'd want a family. Back on Earth, I grew up in a harsh place, shaped by people like Mercer. Always people like him. That look in my parents' eyes always stuck with me. A mix of warmth and fear of failing to protect the one thing that mattered the most hell that animal you freed it'll look after its own one day and it'll know that pain i don't think it's thought that far it's in its nature to produce offspring and protect its young like all parents i guess <laughs> yeah just dumb instinct and love jen can't imagine me failing he loves me too much. And I don't know how to tell him... I'm terrified. <laughs> I should talk to him. <laughs> 